X-ray backscatter is an established technology, but what we're trying to do is apply it to um, explosive ordnance disposal. EOD is all about preservation of life, preservation of property, and by allowing them to select the most optimal way of dealing with things, that should reduce the risk um, to, to, to lives uh, in the jobs that they do. So being able to ro robotically mount X-ray backscatter onto a system means that they are able to get that additional situational awareness, potentially see if there's a threat item um, without having to go anywhere near it. So we've had se several setups. There were bags with threats in them. We've got a locker with a threat in it to show standoff through metal detection. We've got um, in the walls for the standoff through uh, the plasterboard wall. Um, we've also got a car, so we're looking at can it penetrate that metal boot, the side doors, um, and can it see the simulants inside? We've got stakeholders from the US visiting to check that we're doing what they want to see and they're also giving us separate ideas. We have such mutual interests with our partners across, across the world um, and being able to share resources to, to work towards the same goals um, just means that we're able to get to those goals quicker um, and we're able to succeed in them. The feedback we've had from our uh, stakeholders so far who've come to see the system up here with us has been very positive, um, you know, better than I could have hoped for really. People were really excited to see the capability, actually see the system working um, and detecting threats and different items, not only um, interesting things like uh, explosives and weapons, but also uh, benign items and seeing, seeing what those look like as well. We've worked so hard to get to this point. It wasn't just me, it's the whole project team. Um, but I've, it, it's absolutely been amazing to, to see it working and to get such positive feedback.